Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with Paulina, who's going to be modeling for me. And we are going to show you how to shoot on location outside with the Godox V1 in different lighting situations. I'm going to show you how to combat harsh sun and how to work with open shade and a few different things as well. Alright guys, so I'm here with Paulina and I've got the Godox V1 here to fill in the shadows under her eyes a little bit and give her some catch light in the eyes. So what I'm going to do first, which is very important, is to just expose for the background first and then I'm going to add the flash in after. So I've turned off the flash on my uh, trigger here and I'm just going to make sure I get the exposure right. All right, so I'm going to pop the photos on the screen for you guys to see. And now I'm going to turn on my flash. Here you go, I've got it set up at 1 8th of a second. That's just my starting point. And then I'm just going to adjust to see what looks good. So my settings are 4.5 and 160 shutter and 100 ISO. All right, let's do it. See what it looks like. Is just guys my flash is just really giving a little bit of a pop of light it's not like making her look like a cut out cardboard sort of figure because I don't really like that look so she's blending in nicely with the whole scene just always make sure guys that you have your model facing uh, the flash with just with her face so you can light up her face and make sure you get that catch light in her eyes So I've just used high speed sync for Polina because I had the sun, the midday, the harsh midday sun coming from behind her. And I just wanted to show you how you can actually use high speed sync with any flash, not just the Godox V1, and still create really cool portraits. So all you have to do on your flash trigger or your flash is find the sync button. And what you do, just press that and just um, keep pressing until it says HSS and that's it. That way you can just increase your shutter speed all the way up to as much as you want to block out some of the background light. So that's exactly what I did. I, had, I think I had it up to about 2000, almost 3000 because we are shooting midday sun, which is not ideal, but this is the life of a photographer, right? You just gotta do what you can sometime. All right guys, so we've changed scenario. Actually, we just turned around in the other direction and Paulina has changed into a nice flowing dress because it's really windy today as well. So we're going to try and work a bit with that. Uh, the other thing we're going to do, we're going to try and shoot with high speed sync again because we've got a really blown out background here as you can see with the sun. And then we've got Paulina here in the shaded bit from the bridge. So 
that can be really hard to work with if you only shoot natural light but with a flash or a strobe you can actually overcome this so all we have to do is expose for the background and we press our little button that's called sync on our flash trigger and I press until I've got high speed sync activate it so what I do I actually um, turn off my flash trigger again and then I just expose for the background so we're just gonna do that I have a high effect f-stop of 5.6 because I want a more of a fashion image so I'm just gonna come down here and expose for the background which yeah that's really good and then I'm gonna use the flash to light up uh, Paulina here so I'm on an eighth of a power and we'll just see what that looks like I might have to change my lens because I have to dodge people in the background Because I don't have a, yeah, yeah. a boom or anything, yeah. can you just hold it like yeah, this, sure. angle it down at her? Yeah. Yeah. Because that way I just get a nicer angle and all that stuff, all that goodness. Alright, see what that looks like down here. It's a constant balancing act. Every time you move, every time the sun moves, you gotta move. So that's it. Okay, just do one where you're sitting straight up with your, your arms like that. Okay. Yeah, in the in between sort of thing. Yeah, you're touching your dress. Oh, sand everywhere. Paulina's boyfriend, everyone. Famous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Start your own channel. Yeah. This is uh, how you hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so if you've got someone helping you in photo shoots, which I never do, so this is I'm really grateful. Uh, it's always good just to show them what to do. So I want the light kind of up here because we're going for a real fashion look, yep. and that will carve out uh, Pauline's uh, features and stuff, and just make sure that it's actually going to hit her, and not like <laughs> over oh. there. Like normally guys, I wouldn't actually point the light to, um, directly at my subject, but because it's such a small light and we have a lot of ambient light to deal with, the closer I can get, the better. At least it will be a little bit softer. So let's see what we get. So that's good. So what I want you to maybe do is put your foot this way instead. Yeah, so I can, because otherwise I, you kind of disappear in the dress a little bit. So if I can see your legs much better, that's fantastic. And we'll just do a few takes, you know? <laughs> 
Oh, that's good. Okay, so, human in. Uh, I might need you on this side. If Pauline, <laughs> Paulina, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just so we're kind of trying to get the light on her face and that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's really nice. Let me just take that. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. If you've got any questions about the Gotus V1 or shooting on location with Flash, just leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. See you next time.